Welcome back to American Agenda. Airlines are majorly suffering during this pandemic. Some are instituting new regulations like mandatory face coverings aboard flights and not selling middle seats. They are. Not Bob's experience, though. Yes, We're going to get more are. into that. Well, including Warren Buffett, he's actually selling his airline stocks. At the same time, airline companies are telling us that it is safe to fly again. Southwest Airlines CEO Gary Kelly said yesterday that it is, quote, as safe as humanly possible to fly. But what's the truth? Will airline companies come back from all of this? Here to weigh in is our A-plus panel of the day, president of Walser Wealth Management, Rebecca Walser, and financial advisor for UBS Financial Services, Tracy Burns. Welcome, ladies. Tracy, just to start off, what are your insights? What's your take on what's happening in the airline industry currently? Look, we think it's going to be, I think, more short term than what most people think. First of all, the second you get a vaccine and a therapeutic, people will fly again. Business will probably come back before leisure because it just we are a global economy and people will need to get on planes to do business again. And look, I want to see Greece before I die. Right. We all <laughs> have this pent up demand to travel, and many people have pent up savings to buy those tickets. So I think if the airlines truly can convince us that it's safe, people will fly. Rebecca, what do you think? I hope it's safe. I'm flying today on American for oh, my first wow. flight in a while, so I better be safe. It's interesting, when I booked the flight, I initially got a notice that said that I would be required to wear a face mask, and then I got an updated notice that said not until May 11th would I be required to wear a face mask. So I'm thinking, maybe I should wear a face mask? I don't know. I think I, I think I should probably do it without someone telling me I need to do it. Um, you know, the thing is, airlines are obviously, I hope Tracy's right. I hope it's very short term. But from an investment perspective, airlines are very high cost businesses, high overhead, unionized workforces, major maintenance, their bur cash burn on this shutdown. Uh, for the second quarter, it's projected to be $60 billion, 30 something billion in refunds and cancellations and 30 billion in cash burn of just not actually having the bookings. So it is a problem. And I, I hope Tracy's right. I hope businesses will get back and then travel will follow. But the thing is, I think businesses will also realize, hey, we can actually do this virtually. It actually worked out pretty well. Although I want to interject really quickly. I think that businesses are looking at that a little bit short sighted because right now people People are giving leeway, thinking that it's necessary to meet virtually and not that they would prefer to meet virtually. So we do have that going for us. I do think that, you know, always a face to face is preferable if, if safe. Tracy, what is your take? Rebecca saying it's confusing a little bit, right? Wear the face mask. Don't wear the face mask. I mean, how important do you think consistency and guidelines is as we move forward, you know, for the consumer and for businesses? 100%. And I would say when in doubt, wear the face mask, right? To be safe. You know what? You have to you have to be comfortable with yourself. If, if you are feel safer with the face mask, wear it, wear gloves, wear a hazmat suit. Do what you have to do. I think what's also important, too, to Rebecca's point is that if I'm going to get on a plane, something has to be open on the other side where I land. So if I'm going to bring my family to Disney, I need Disney to be open, right? So we need, we almost need this to happen simultaneously because she's right. We're getting business done from home. I do think, though, that there's something about a face-to-face -face that closes a deal at the end of yeah. the day. So that will come back, right? But we need almost, we need hotels to open on the other side. I want to go to New Orleans. That has to open back up. So, so this all kind of has to happen in conjunction. But because they do bleed money, um, it's a short-term, it's definitely short-term pain in the airlines. Re Rebecca, let me tell you my experience. Delta... <laughs> loaded the plane from back to front to avoid, to, to enable social distancing. Seemed to make sense to me. I flew American a couple days ago. They didn't do that. They went front to back. So you're walking past all these people. I flew on American. I had somebody sitting next to me in the middle seat. There were six seats across. Five of them were full. So on, on Delta, they seemed to, they were handing out uh, Purell wipes. Um, and, 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 I, if I'm going to pick next time, I'm going to pick Delta because I felt like they respected me. Do you think it'll get to a point where they'll start doing things that attract you with social distancing? Absolutely. I mean, it's a it's a consumer industry, right? I mean, it's it's demand driven. So, I mean, I have I Delta is actually my favorite airline, American, maybe my second. But I, I had to pick American this time because of where I was heading, you know, direct flight. I will take a direct flight rather than changing planes and having two planes and two problems. So, um, yeah, definitely direct. And and I absolutely think that uh, this is my first experience. So you obviously you had two already. This is my first uh, going back into the air and I need it to be very safe and we need to feel like it's safe. And I was wearing uh, face 
masks in January. I was flying all in January, February, March with face masks, and no, everyone was looking at me like I was crazy in American airports. I'm like, you just wait, it's coming. But yeah, yeah we all should be wearing masks. We should all be social distancing, if possible, even on the planes. I did get an alert from American that said they might change your seat to get you spaced out if, if there's I, space. So yeah, that's kind I'm of telling like, you, well, from my experience, they did not. And mm. that's that bothered me as a consumer, yeah. and and it will affect what I do in the future. And I'm wondering how this affects them. So um, yeah. uh, I have a feeling we'll have to, we'll have to check in with you, Rebecca, to see what your experience was because <laughs> uh, I think uh, you know it's very interesting. And uh, we also want to get that flight to Greece for Tracy as soon as possible. Yes. So Tracy <laughs> and Rebecca, thank you. We'll have more coverage of coronavirus after this.